Hello people, today I'm going to be teaching you how to transfer files between your Mac and your Windows and in which case you'll be able to use your Windows machine as a backup to your Mac or the other way around or just transfer files quickly if you need to reinstall it like I do at the moment I need to reinstall my um, line from scratch or you can just transfer files the quickest way possible rather than using a cloud service which takes ages to upload things to or just USBs which are maximum what 16 gigabyte so at the moment, um, I need the first thing we're going to do is we'll be using an Ethernet cable. This is the quickest way, as I've already mentioned. So the first thing we do is plug in the Ethernet cable on both ends, one end to your Windows, just make sure, this is, and then the other end to your Mac, and then once that is plugged in, we will go to our Windows machine. And in the bottom corner where you have the internet settings, we're going to we're going to click and then click on Open Network and Sharing Center. Now we're going to be clicking on Change Adapter Settings, and over here we're going to be looking at the local area connection. This is the important part for us. So we're going to double click on local area connection, and then we're going to make sure that the connection has been established which you can see here duration enabled and speed and we're going to click on details and then from details we're going to look at the important thing here is this auto configuration IPv4 add so it's going to be this 169254 this number here we're going to be just keeping this open for now so we're going to come back to this later now we're also going to open our libraries on our Windows machine, and we're going to be any of these four libraries is going to be the uh, is going to be the folder that is shared with our Mac. So we will be able to transfer files to and from one of these folders. So if we just, I'm going to just do it for our documents at this moment. <clears throat> I'll right click on documents, and you need to click on share with, and you're going to click on specific people. Now, in here, you're going to have to type guest, but it has to be spelled in this exact way, capital G-U-E-S-T. And then you're going to click on add. And then the permission level, you have to make read and write, both of them. And then we're going to be clicking on share. Next. And if something like this comes up, you just press done. And at this moment in time, you can see once you, when you highlight this documents folder, it says shared. And this folder is now shared. So if we open our documents folder, I'm going to create a new file in here, new folder, I mean, and I'm going to, I'll name it Mac. So everything that I transfer will be kept in this Mac folder. Now we're going to close this. And we're going to come back to here and keep this open for now. We go over to our Mac machine now. Let me just focus this. And on our Mac machine, we're going to be opening the Finder. And from Finder, we're going to be pressing Command and K at the same time. And when you press this, a box like this should come up. Now, in this box, we're going to type where it says Server Address. We're going to be typing SMB colon forward slash forward slash and the exact email address that has been specified over here which I said you should keep open so as you can see this 169254 is also over here now we're going to be pressing connect and it's trying to establish a connection and when it asks you to log in you just click on guest rather than registered user because we've allowed it to be available to guest so we press connect and it's going to ask you to choose what volume you press the volume it is and here you go this opens now you click on your username and then from your username here's the documents folder that we have shared now if I click on documents and if I search through all this I can find my Mac folder as you can see here now let me show you an example this is this is, this is basically how this is done now everything is being shared so let's say I'm going to transfer my year one term one of university work over if I just drag and drop it, that's transferred right now. Now if I go over to my Windows machine, I open my libraries, and then I open documents, and I open Mac. As you can see, that folder is transferred. This is a very quick way of 
transferring files. I mean, I, I transferred 18 gigabyte music folder in about 20 minutes. So it's the quickest way I can find, but well, much better than transferring on the internet. And if you don't have an external hard drive, it's a, it's a good way of, if you have like an old PC at home like I do, or an, another laptop or something, you can just transfer files between each other. And in the same way, if you want to transfer files from your Windows to your Mac, you just put everything that you want to transfer into this folder, and on your Mac, you'll just do the same, grab this, and then drop it where you want to transfer it, and as you can see, it's transferring. So thank you for listening, and if you have any questions, thank you for watching more like. If you have any questions, just let me know.